Um, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Xiang Yu from China Mobile Cloud. I'm the general computing product team leader in China Mobile Cloud. And I'm also the Open Infra Foundation Gold Director and the member of the Open, Open Infra Asia Advisory Committee. And uh, today, this topic, I will introduce the China Mobile Stocky and AIOps architecture to you. So the topic we will have the three parts. The first part is why we use Loki and AI ops in the China Mobile Cloud. Land area of a pre symmetry 9.6 million square kilometers and a sea area of approximately 4.73 million square kilometers. So, the scale of computing infrastructure in China uh, continues to expand as the growth of the computing power demands from the marketing. In order to cover such a wide area and meet the customer's demands, China Mobile Cloud has built more than 40 regions in China, with over 4 million vCPUs computing resources in our cloud. With the rapid development of China Mobile Cloud and the continuous expansion of the server scale, we have to we have encountered many problems in delivery and operation, mainly including the requirements of for rapid delivery and upgrades, standard observation and intelligent fault analysis and repair. Our deployment times is to be reduced from the three months to days level. And the upgrade times needs to needs to reduce from the hours to minutes level. And in terms of the resource monitoring, we need a unified monitoring system to monitor to monitor various kinds of resources and system for and after the sales operations, we urgently need AI drivers to enable us to complete the fault location and repair it in seconds. So this has led us to start thinking and planning the architecture of Loki and AI ops. As is well known, the advantages of Loki lies in its combination of open stack and Kubernetes resource management capabilities, which enables us to achieve convenient resource management and elastic resource and lower cost. However, you use Loki alone is not enough. Loki provides a good foundation for efficient operations, and we also can build accurate anomaly detection and intelligent cause uh, repair in the base of Loki. So the next part, I will introduce how we use Loki and AI ops in China Mobile Cloud. The core infrastructure architecture of China Mobile Cloud at the ice layer is our self-developed the BCEC, the, the Big Cloud Hun Yuan Elastic Compute System, commonly known as BCEC, which is a standard locking architecture. In the hardware infrastructure, under this picture, China Mobile Cloud used self-developed 
Japan Shi Fiscal Service, which are equipped with the China Mobile Big Cloud Operating System BC Linux and COCA, the Compute on Chip Architecture architecture in terms of management. Big Cloud when Yuan Elastic Compute System BCC is responsible for the technical solution of the infrastructure, which use both OpenStack on K Kubernetes and Kubernetes on OpenStack architectures to provide users uh, many kinds of computing services. The BCC architecture is based on the uh, deployment capacity of Kubernetes and achieve rapid delivery of multiple infrastructures through general generate deployment and configuration files through templates and parameters. We have a management platform that can generate deployment configurations for Kubernetes using templates. This main process is as follows. Uh, step one is to prepare deploy environment various file and then put the various file to the con to the configure center. Then we can we render YAMs by various files in the configure platform. Um, then the kubernetes apply the yams and wait service resource the and last uh, send out openstack or the BCE's service in the cloud another feature of the BCEC is based on rocky implementation is the hot upgrade of services, which enables a new deployment integration and old version deployment graceful shutdown. Our purpose is zero interruption. The new and old versions can be exist in the same time. Once the new service is online, the old service stops handling new requests. The shorter the coexistence time of the new and the old version software is better. So the key strategy is RISPL shutdown. Our service have supports RISPL shutdown by receiving receiving special fig P PID signal. We overwrite the service call to realize it. So the old version service can continue to process ongoing tasks under lay until they are completely. So when we start to hot upgrade, we'll do this step. First, we delete the old version deployment and send a request to delete all points under the deployment. Then the deployment delete the request is uh, request is captured by the web hook, web hook. If the web hook returns true, the deletion is allowed and the old version deployment will be directly uh, deleted. If it returns false, the deleted request is added to the strategy queued waiting for the next trigger. The parameters written by this method, this method depends on whether all old version service workers have completely processing the accepted request. Another very important feature is the elastic resource management capacity management based on the Rocky, increasing port replicates under high load to manage traffic and reducing the replicates under load load. 
in order to save the number of the OpenStack control nodes or the BCC control nodes while ensuring the service stability. We use auto sales based on collect metrics, such as the CPU memory network metrics. We update deployment to design auto scale service port. When we receive we a large number of requests, we can promptly expand the number of service ports and release ports after the precious returns to normal. To normal. Uh, we use the OTPL protocol to transmit server energy consumption, load process monitoring, and resource utilization data for the visual machines and physical hosts with the uniform data tagging. In Kubernetes, we use the Kubernetes Kubernetes and the open source node, node, node exporter agent and the process uh, exporter agent to collect metric data. And in the OpenStack, we add a new semester publisher to the open technology to support OpenStack metrics, convert to the open telemetry metrics. This one. We have pushed this patch to the OpenStack Centimeter project and it has been merged. This facilitates a normally alert identify identification of high and low machines and aggregation of server engine and low data, supporting optimization strat strategies like auto lead migration, cluster level auto resource reallocation to balance cluster row uh, conditions based on analyze. Now we can see from the picture uh, from this architecture, uh, we have the metric lack uh, follow, uh, flow and the data process and uti uh, utilization of flow. Uh, we are incorporating more AI-centric elements into our AI ops strategy involves integrating advanced AI uh, algorithms and data an analytics platforms for future enhancements by combine, combining the cutting-edge data analysis platform with the robust uh, algorithm frameworks we aim to enhance the predictive capabilities, utilize AI algorithms to forecast IT system behaviors, anticipate potential issues, and proactively address them before they escalate. And we also want to optimize decision making implement AI-driven uh, decision support systems that leverage real-time data uh, ana analysis to provide additional insights for operational improvements and resource allocation. And we also want the uh, system can do the auto automate remedy uh, remediation. Develop AI brow automation solutions that can detect anomalies, stress option, op optimize resolution, and even execute corrective actions to streamline operational workflows. And uh, we also want to build a facilitate self learning systems, integrate AI algorithms 
they enable AI ops platforms to continually learn from operational data, adapt to changing environments, and evolve to meet evolving IT challenges effective, effectively. By synergizing AI technologies with the data an analytics and algorithm platforms, we are poised to revolution Nice, our AI of approach, driving efficiency, innovation in managing IT operations. In order to make use of these metrics, we use multi models training to build metric models such as visual machines, uh, server level health scores. These health, health scores can help us. Utilizing multi dimensional metrics for model training to enhance AI ops capabilities in anomaly detection, fault uh, prediction, and more. Building evalu evaluate system to better strengthen intelligent scheduling and resource reallocation capabilities. And we perform end to end to end trace coverage of the uh, visual machine life cycle. For example, from the OpenStack uh, Nova API, Nova Schedule Conductor Compute Agent, and the Cinder Volume, and so on. Intelligently identify anomalous, uh, anomalous stages in service flow for fault diagnosis and optimize component concurrency performance by analyzing or lower latency distri distribution. This page shows an exception trace, the seven trace in NOAA. We can easily find the abnormal trace in, the, in compute management. In addition, in terms of AI ops, we also we have also explored intelligent analysis methods for logs, mainly by converting unstructured log log tests into structured data for AI analysis. It is correlates in uh, in the in log collection and pricing. Instrument key methods in service train we logging and use the technical light feature extraction for fault diagnosis to enhance the intelligence of fault detection and combine the traditional fault full log connection to provide context information related to the anomalies. For intelligent fault self repair, we accumulate host, host fault anomaly characteristics and determine the handling approach for fault scenarios. Through the series of fault detection and intelligent fault recognize. Uh, recognize uh, Reactions uh, accumulate host fault anomaly characteristics, driving on the decision making principles of a appropriate trend, intelligently determine the handling approach for multiple fault scenarios. The last part will introduce the uh, summary and outlook about the Rocky and AI Ops. In the future, AI Ops uh, leverage artificial intelligence and machine learning to enhance IT operations. It includes capabilities like anomaly detection, event 
uh, uh, automatic low cost analysis and predictive analysis. So why we must use the Rocky and AI all together? The first reason is the complex environment. Rocky represents a complex, a complex and distributed and a scalable infrastructure. Managing such environment ma manually is challenging. AI ops helps by automating routine tasks, reducing noise in alerting, and predicting potential issues before they cause disruptions. The second reason is the observa observability. AI ops thrives on data. Lucky components generate vast amounts of data, such as logs, metrics, events, that can be used by AI platforms to gain insights, detect, anomalize, and opti optimize the operations. The third reason is the scalability. The combination of Linux OpenStack, Kubernetes, and Robert's infrastructure requires scalable solutions. AI ops can scale with these environments, providing consistent performance and operational efficiency. The last reason is the proactive management. AI ops enables proactive management of locky environments by predicting failures, suggesting optimizations and automating recovery uh, processes. This leads to higher availability and performance of the infrastructures. I think the large language model LLM and uh, uh, AIOps will have deeper uh, corporate application in China Mobile uh, in the future. Uh, uh, you can see the picture, the data, um, the data collect layer is the foundation of the AI ops. In compassing various uh, metric across the multiple dimensions. In the data processing layer, layer uh, pre-processed data can be used by the LLMs for a normal detection and to convert natural language into queries like QL, simplifying operations. For the intelligent analyze layer, the LLMs helps in understanding complex events, provide root cause and an, an, uh, analysis by co-creating logs, com telemetry, data and path incidents, and generating insights into potential issues. The last layer is the automatic response, response layer. It involves the automatic generation and escalations of the scripts to resolve the identified issues. The system may offer option for manual approach or many automatic actions such as resource optimization, network reconfiguration, or other remediation steps. The significance of the large language model for AI ops lies in providing enhanced automation automation and intelligent um, analytical cap capabilities. With the LRM, AI ops can better handle vast amount of IT operational data, identify patterns, predict issues, and offer intelligent recommendations and automatic responses, thereby improving the operational efficiency and the system stabilities. 
So this is all of the talking.